2004 Honda Element not starting it acts like it has a dead battery but the battery is completely fine it's been tested the owner of the vehicle said that uh, she actually put in a new battery I uh, put it on 40 amp cold start just to see if it gives it a little bit more power and there's nothing there the dash lights come on like they normally do but there's nothing after that so if you get this problem and the keys fine and then that's it you get about a crank and a half and nothing so I checked the 50 amp fuse under the dash I checked the starter relay down here underneath the steering column plastic and it takes a few screws to come off there is a ignition starter pack that sits right on the very end and it takes two screws or so we got to pull that off now that we have the steering column plastic off it was just three three screws one two three next thing we got to do is take this piece right here that's the piece that goes bad all the time this is the piece that gives so many people issues so that has to come out to get that out you have a screw here and a screw on the very bottom going up so it's set like that so you had the screw here and on the very bottom it was going up right there and then this slides right out just got the new one in I got the Honda import parts in plug it back in here nice and tight clicks come back into your dash you gotta start it and still no problem replacing the starter on a 2.4 liter Honda to get to the top bolt instead of taking off your intake there is a possibility of taking off your power steering pump and going with a extension to hit the top bolt if not you have to hit the top bolt from the bottom and it's a 14 millimeter that sticks out about here you got to get a 14 millimeter deep socket 3h drive to get over it and you kind of got to hit it blindly with your fingers kind of stick your hand back in there you can see my thumbs all messed up over it got to get your hand back in there in order to get the, the drive over it and then you get your 3 8 on it and it's, it's fairly easy to move the bottom one's a 17 millimeter however I do highly recommend there is a knock sensor sitting right behind it about two inches away from the starter I highly recommend pulling that entire knock sensor out it's a one and one sixteenth inch uh, wrench to get that knock sensor out and comes right out and that gives you a lot more free clearance Do not try and use a ratcheting wrench air powered or anything to pull this out because the Thermostat housing is in the way and you will get your uh, Ratcheting wrench stuck. So don't do that Learn that the hard way But as you can see Not a whole lot of room up there That's basically what you have to work with. Just a little tiny bit of room. And yes, it sucks. Some people say it takes one hour, two hours. For me, trial and error, it took me four. And once you get your starter back on, you get back in your car. And the same old systems pop up, like everything's going good. But instead of it running low, uh-oh, not good. Come to find out, the battery was dead, of all things. 
So I put on the charger for a few hours. Now we can go in. Starts right up. 